hope you got your seatbelts on. We're about to go for a ride. Zoom, 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 mother. Last week was super dope. This week is going to be pretty awesome as well. There was a video I watched a couple of months before quitting my job. And it was this video by Earl Nightingale. And it was like 32 minutes that would change your life. I'll put the link in the description section for you. Uh, Earl Nightingale was speaking about goals and why some people most people are not successful he was saying that without goals it's like not having direction and he compared it to a ship with a captain and they know where they're going and nine times out of ten they're going to get to their destination god willing and then he compared it to a ship with no captain and you just let it go in the water and there's no telling where that boat's gonna go it has no destination it has no direction I built a glass house just so you can try to break me shoot up for the top even though my aim is shaky move walking on sharp needles and eggshells you gonna need more to hell on to make me walk heavy I've been ready heartbreaks and set back woke up one day had to accept all the mishaps into the streets I hear all your little chit chats wanna see me lose it break it seems like some kick cats you can get ghosts rip you I decided to name this episode direction sometimes we navigate through life and we have an idea but we don't have any direction on how we're going to accomplish that idea. I took that leap of faith to leave my job. I had a direction as far as I want to be able to do this on my own and I believe that I can. Even with the choice to self-publish. I wouldn't consider self-publishing if you don't have a direction on what it is that you want to do. The reason why I say that is because when I chose to actually self-publish, I was weighing out my options. I was looking at the ability to get it published. I wasn't shying away from it. But at the time, I was looking at a lot of self-publishing and I had already done a lot of footwork when it came to my music and CDs. I figured that if I self-publish, I'm at these events, then I have a customer base. That was the direction that I went with this specific book. <laughs> From my life, a masterpiece form, form of view of my heart that I write. Give it just a little darkness, just a little light, so I don't drown myself in my worries at night. But I keep pushing for what reason is the question. I keep stressing, grab my blessings, use it as a compass for the right direction, and keep moving. But sometimes I feel like. I'm running straight into a brick wall that's 20 feet tall. I'm trying to climb up, but I fall. Trying to get up and get pushed back down. How am I gonna get past this brick wall now? I'm running straight into a brick wall that's 20 feet tall. I try to climb up. Here, this bar is pretty legit. Um, I am a rapper and a 
off the I have my first book ideas of illusion it is a psychological thriller that takes place in the year 2025 in San Antonio so before I do my set I'm gonna read a little synopsis of that and if you're interested holla at me afterwards My, my fro says hello. With it being my first book, I had enough confidence in myself to say, hey, just because I haven't found anybody to actually publish it doesn't mean that this work shouldn't come out. That's the mentality that I went with. I just figured, well, it is my first book let me at least use it as a trial run to even see if this is what I want to do. So I had a direction on how I wanted to execute this plan. This is going into the fifth month of being a self-published author and being an entrepreneur as far as with my own business, Dab Troll Creations. I would have to say that the majority of my income comes from this book. I don't know what would have happened if it would have been published. I don't know if the money would have came in the way that it comes with these books. With these books as a self-published artist, I'm going to these places and the exchange is, is right there. I don't have to wait a couple of months or every month. Or I know that, okay, if I'm out, and there's eyes there, then I'm able to do this. Also, it gives me the luxury to be around friends and network with people and get inspired. Oceans in check, just laying down in a pool of sweat. Monsters at my mental doorstep, gotta convince myself that it don't exist if I should die in their presence. Put my body in the deepest cooler, keep my face covered like a first person shooter. Crown me the king of hearts, love games, newest ruler. Still looking for my day at night, feeling kind of lunar. But these are my thoughts early morning, I should go to sleep sooner. Cause I'm looking for organizations and submitting my work to these people sometimes I wouldn't get a reply sometimes they would just you know say this isn't what we're looking for which is totally understandable but if you're thinking about going the self-published route or if you're thinking about writing a book in general I wouldn't feel discouraged by the rejection with any with any art I'm not going to say this was just any book and that I wanted to go ahead and um, I didn't care about it, which is why I put it out first or anything like that. No, this is, I love this book. And that's why I wasn't going to let publishing or the stories of self-publishing stop me from doing it. So that's episode four of From Self Doubt to Self Publish. So if you're in the San Antonio area, come on out to Dead Tree Books on Saturday, September 16th. All those out there, thank you so much for tuning in. More stuff on the way. Peace.
stamp, y'all. I got mine for road. Fairy tale.